Hello, welcome to Energy 142, class number 11. In this class, we're going to be doing some hourly data analysis. Last class, if you remember, you did a lot of manipulation in Excel to get a nice hourly data list, or in some cases, 15-minute data list. So what we're going to look at this class is to find the peak demand days and times and verify if they occur when they should. So think about when the building should really have those peak demand times. Should it be at 1 a.m.? Should it be on a Saturday? Think about those types of things when you find these peak demand day times. We're also going to show you a little different software that you can use to look at hourly or uh, interval data. Um, it's called DView software. So what we're going to do first is really be using that DView software. And this software is available for free at this website. So we're really going to um, go over, you know, the first two um, in in you know, later videos, but this video is really going to focus on the DView software. So let's go ahead and open up the DView software. I have it installed uh, on my desktop. And this is what it looks like. So it's not really fancy, but this is, so what we're going to do is we're going to open an Excel file. So let's look at that Excel file first. So this Excel file has a couple different things. It has month, day, time, temperature, wind speed, DPL cents per kilowatt hour, and residential house house kilowatt hour. So temperature and wind speed and wind day time may all make sense. Let me talk about what these last two columns are before we open that in DView. The DPL cents per kilowatt hour, if you remember, electricity is an open market. So Delmarva, actually Delmarva Power and Light, that's what DPL stands for, buys their electricity on an open market on the PJM um, interconnection. So these are the prices in cents that Delmarva pays. Um, and that's for all the year, all the times of the year. And here, this is the residential, um, my residential, actually it's my house. It's the kilowatt hours I'm using at all hours of the year. So we're going to see sort of patterns that we can see through DView here. So let's go ahead and open up DView. And actually first I have to close this Excel sheet for it to open up. If we open up DView and open that Excel sheet. So the first thing to notice is that month isn't going to give us anything so anything special. So let's get rid of month. I'm going to look at temperature, just because temperature is the easiest probably thing to discuss. So these are hourly readings for the month of January. So what's nice is that it's, it puts in, DVU puts in automatically, if you put in 8,760 values, automatically it formats everything for you. The January, um, how many days there are in January, everything. So if you have 15 minutes, utility bills, so 15 minute interval data, you're going to have to first convert that into hourly so that you have 8,760 values. Okay, So let's look. If we zoom out here, we're going to look at the temperature for the whole year. And you can see there's lots of variations, but in the summertime it's hotter, and in the wintertime it's colder, and it dips and whatnot. To get a little bit smoothed out picture, you can go to daily. So these are just daily, so these are just 365 data values. Or you could go to monthly. So there's just going to be 12 data values, one for each month. And that gives us a, more, a little more clear picture. But what I really like is the profile. So profile gives us each month and the daily, um, the hourly averages for each day. So you can see the hour is on the x-axis and the temperature is on the y for each month. So there's 12 graphs here. And so it sort of shows you the profile view throughout the day. That's really nice because in Excel you'd have to create 12 different charts for this. And it would be really time consuming, but DVU does it for you. Okay, let's go to DMAP. My favorite by far. Just because I think just because it's colorful and it's nice to look at and it's these type of charts are good for presentations. It's sort of hard to read right at first because the, the fonts are so small. So let's right click on it and go to properties and then fonts. And then let's just make it as big as we can. Hit OK. So now the fonts are really nice to look at, and they're, they're big, and hopefully you can see it on this video quite clearly. So let's look at some things. We know there was a really cold day in January. That's what's going on here. Um, it's kind of like when I'm recording this video. And so let's see what's, how this is going on, though. These are The blue is the really cold months, or the really cold hours, I'm sorry. And the red are the really hot hours. And that makes sense. All the red are in the summer, so June, July. And in the middle of the day, 
noon to 6 p.m. That's what these are. So that's where the hot stuff is. The colder stuff um, tends to be more at night, but sometimes like this streak is throughout the day. So you can see a pattern just from colors that emerge here. So I want to look at two things for um, both the my kilowatt hour home use and the kilowatt hour home use for or, and the price that DPNL pays for their kilowatt hours. So let's switch this from temperature to the residential house kilowatt hour. One thing to notice is that for every single month there's two humps. So the two humps are when I'm up in the morning and using electricity and after I get home at night. So those are the two humps. And you can also see the humps are there in the summer, but the afternoon humps more pronounced because the house has been heating up all day and that's when I turn on the air conditioning. So when the house heats up all day, it uses more. Um, so the humps aren't pronounced in every month, but you can sort of see that and that's that's what's going on. You can see that even on the DMAP that you can sort of see, especially in the winter months, there's a darker sort of area here, a bluer sort of area here, and a bluer sort of area here. Um, and then in the summer, there's these two humps as well. And the afternoon hump, which is this, is more pronounced. So you can you can see right from the DMAP my electricity usage and how it's being used. Um, the scary part is you can also see I was on vacation this week. So I turned off everything. So that's why there looks to be sort of a gap in usage here. And it looks like I didn't turn off everything, so I must have missed a few things. So those are a couple of things you can see from that. Let's look also at what's interesting is the DPL cents per kilowatt hour. The cool thing is, is that these really have those two humps in most months again. So my usage matches pretty well with what DPNL is paying for electricity. And that makes sense because my usage is a typical type of usage. And so DPNL is that's sort of their peak time. So they, they pay more during those peak times. We'll look at the DMAP. And we can see what's going on from the DMAP. The one other thing I want to say is I want you to think really hard. There's negative numbers here. So that means DPNL, if they use electricity at certain times, they're getting paid instead of they're paying for electricity. So think about why that could happen. Think about why that could happen. And I want to I want you to really think about that. I'm not going to give you the answer, but that's a really good thing to ponder. Okay, so we sort of explored DView, and so now you get a feel for how you can just look at data in a bunch of different formats uh, with DView.